What's up guys, welcome back to a quick vlog. So today I just wanna to ask you guys a couple questions. I wanna get some feedback on a new idea I have for my channel. So, a lot of you guys know we have been doing the PvE server recently on my ARC channel, like on my YouTube channel. We've been doing a lot of PvE gameplay, I've been throwing in some new games here and there. But today, thanks to our amazing server sponsors, Host Havoc, and you guys can sign up for a Host Havoc server with the link in the description. They provided me a server to do PvE on, and now a server to do PvP on. And so we'll be able to do both PvE and PvP. They're gonna be completely separate, they're not gonna be connected in any way, completely different servers. But if you really want to just play PvE and hang out with me, we can do that. Do you rather play PvP and like take people down get us some big battles hashtag down with sucker punch you guys can do that too and so we are going to be setting up that server throughout the week and hopefully it's a little bit smoother that's a big pimple man where the heck did that guy come from that's a honker that's i mean that just massive i don't know guys some i mean i just feel like i'm prone to getting some big pimples but anyway um you guys can do PvP, you can do PvE, you can do both. But we're going to make sure this one is running well this time. And that means we're going to have way less mods than normal. We want to make sure it is just a really good running server so that way you guys can enjoy PvP. And so I'm just asking you guys today what you want to see, what rates you want to see, what mods you want to see. We're probably going to stay minimal. We're going to stay on the island. We're probably going to have like the reusable mod, you know, come with the basic mods. Maybe S+, plus, maybe not. That might be too taxing on hardware. And S+, plus is kind of iffy in PvP. Guys, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you have an idea. Like I know some other YouTubers did crazy things like a game of thrones idea that was pretty cool we tried like a hunger game style on my pve server it really hasn't worked too well yet but you know the idea is still there so if you guys have some kind of cool idea you want if you want to see something like what we were talking about with one of the guys who's in sucker punch his name's blue he gave me the idea of maybe we make max dino level max wild dino level like 60 that way you don't just win if you have super high level dinos. That way, like a level 60 is still gonna get destroyed by turrets even if you max it out. And so it's a little bit easier to defend. We can change what ingredients a turret takes, how hard it is to get turrets, their damage, all this stuff we can change. And so basically, I'm just asking you guys what you wanna see. What do you wanna see? What is your dream PvP server? Whether it involves huge tribes battling, a bunch of small tribes, a bunch of, you know, solo tribes, what do you wanna see? Like other comments if you see an idea that you want, be, want to be implemented on this. And I'm gonna try to make this one our best PvP server ever. The only thing that I really want to stop from happening is that I do not want a tribe to become so alpha They are literally impossible to really I don't want a tribe to get so powerful It's impossible to get into them. I want it to be a challenge I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be a challenge But I don't want people to have like 3,000 tourists and like there's no way you can get in because the game lags Like that's really one of the main things I need to avoid So I don't want to have bases so big the game's gonna lag out so maybe I I increase turret strength and then increase their cost equally or something like that. But those are just some ideas I have, guys. So today is just a quick, easy video. Um, just asking for your opinion on things, what you want to see, what will make it so it is the best PvP season you've ever watched or played in. Um, you guys can all join it just like before, and we're going to work on it throughout the week. We're going to test mods. We're going to test it with people. And then once it's ready, I will make another vlog and let you guys know. We're probably aiming for maybe midweek to late week, maybe Friday, Wednesday through Friday. Sometime we'll have that out there. PvE server will still be up. And don't forget, if you guys want to join my tribe, we are accepting anyone in my tribe if you donate $10 per month on Patreon. If you become a patron, you can join an amazing community of people that are helping me basically follow my dream. These people are helping me do things like pay my bills, like upgrade, like upgrade equipment, like buy stupid things, like a new light, like a new, you know, pop filter for my mic, things that I need to record because it's not free to make videos. And so if you want to join that community, I've been talking about it a lot lately because it has been exploding and it has been helping me so much. With my increase costs my increased rent because uh, my roommate left he's not paying his half now it is just like you know it's difficult there's a lot of expenses going on ad rates are down so uh you know i'm gonna be probably talking about patreon more doing more things for that community when i get the chance because you patrons out there you guys are amazing thank you for showing me that support honestly i'm blown away that we're up to 350 a month that's incredible to me so thank you guys new and old if you guys do that you're awesome but you can join my tribe and if the server gets full, which it might, because this one might be a little bit smaller with a limit, um, just so we can kind of not crash, not be as laggy with 100 people on, um, you guys can get whitelisted. So if the server's full, you can still get in and play. Um, that's at a higher tier, it might be 25. And you also get tokens on my server. If you wanna play on my server, you wanna get like a token, those tokens can be redeemed for like a dino paint or a cool skin admin paint we got some cool stuff going on hope you consider being a patron i hope you consider joining the tribe but more important than any of that i hope you guys have an awesome day hope you guys keep spreading the love doing some good things out there maybe i should walk around a little more in these bad boys but i just hope you guys have a great day and i hope that you are making a difference in someone's life in whatever way you can every one of us is capable of it so i hope you guys i hope you guys do something i try to every day and uh you know it's hard some days but it, it usually works i usually find a way to do it so guys i love you thank you for watching this 
And also, just a quick announcement, if you're still watching right now, that means you probably watch most of my videos. If you watch at the end, I don't know what I did there. That was weird. I don't know if you could see that. But I've been recording basically some extra games. Like, I've been releasing some different games than normal. The reason is because some days I can't make a video. Some days I'm working until like 8 p.m. Or some days I have a lot of stuff to do like today and I just can't record. And so those are days where I would normally just upload like a random video. Like, I'd say, I'd say like, all right, um, today we're going to upload whatever I recorded two weeks ago. I just have it on my YouTube channel. Just kind of like waiting for a day like this. Then the day comes and then I upload something nice and random. I'm gonna make this video 10 minutes long, that way I get better ads on it. That's just kind of how um, how YouTube works these days. And so we're at about six and a half minutes. So six, seven, eight, nine. I got, I got three and a half minutes left to fill here. So I'm trying to think, um, yeah, I really didn't think it through because I thought that I'd be talking a little bit longer. So maybe what I do, is I, I just kind of maybe I just kind of walk through my apartment a little bit also if you become a patron I'm sitting in my living room right now my roommates leaving he's taking a lot of stuff with him He has way more stuff than I do like he just has more money basically so he's taking his couch He's taking this nice recliner that is a grandma couch sure, but it's a nice couch And so I'm gonna be missing a lot of stuff So if you want to help resupply help, uh, you know refill my house with something to sit on that's also a great excuse to become a patron it's really Really, really the most important thing ever in the entire world is to become a patron. So guys, please, please do that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just give me some ideas. Give me some, some good server ideas. I, I feel like I should go make some food right now. Like, go eat a little snack. But I'm still trying to do... Okay, this is like what I'm trying to do right now with my diet. I'm still trying to do keto, right? I'm still trying to do keto where I only eat um, no carb, right? So that's a pretty good thing to do because it helps you lose weight. But on top of keto, I'm doing intermittent fasting, which means that I'm not eating for about 16 to 18 hours at a time. And sometime this week, I'm going to be trying a 24-hour fast where I don't eat anything for 24 hours. And it sounds crazy, but there's actually a lot of research that shows it's super good for you, super good for losing weight, but also super good for clearing your body out of a lot of bad things. Like, for example, where I live, it's pretty polluted here a lot of you know carcinogens in the air so I'm breathing it in all the time when I go outside by doing intermittent fasting your body basically goes into starvation mode and starts producing uh, basically new enzymes new things in your body and it's gonna help clear the carcinogens out it's gonna help lower your I think it's your insulin level like it does a lot of really really good things for you because your body like knows what to do when it's starving it's gonna like freak out and it's gonna do everything it can to keep you alive and it's almost always good. There can, it can be bad, obviously, you can have some bad side effects to it. But I've been doing a lot of research on it, like on diet and stuff lately, just because that's really important, um, what you eat, because nothing's more important than taking care of yourself. Imagine if you turn to be 50 years old and you start having heart problems because you didn't eat healthy when you were younger. And I know people that have that. A lot of people have that, especially in America, it's pretty common. And so I put a lot of effort into learning the right things to eat, right meal plans to go on, healthy things to do and just uh, keep up with research and stuff. And so, you know, I encourage you guys to definitely ch um, look into that a little bit, make sure you're not eating all that sugar because it's super addictive. And that is one of the, probably the biggest life-changing thing I ever did. The biggest choice I ever made was I cut out sugar. I keep looking outside because there's so many cars driving by, but I cut out sugar and basically I lost like 50 pounds within a few months because I just didn't eat sugar. Like that's all it took. And it started working out and stuff, but it is amazing. And I encourage you guys to do it. I highly encourage you to give it a chance. If you're trying to lose weight, I don't think it's ever too late to start. And that's one of the that's one of the biggest hurdles in life. Like a lot of people are overweight. I mean, a lot of people I know are. It's a common problem, but it's not hard to get over. All you have to do is start. And the, the worst thing you can do is just say, I'll start tomorrow. You gotta start right now after you watch this video. If you feel like you're trying to lose weight or if that's something you wanna do, like you would start right after this video because you're always gonna say tomorrow and tomorrow never comes. You can only start today. And so if you guys are trying to lose weight, it's really not hard at all. I used to be super fat. Then I got not fat and now I love making videos. One of the reasons I didn't make videos when I first started is because I was like, um, I'm gonna look too fat on camera and people will make fun of me. So I lost weight literally so I can make videos. Like that was my motivation. So figure out what your motivation is and do it. It's awesome, it makes your life better in almost every single way. Like you get more confident, you're happier, you can do more, it's just amazing. I don't know where this speech came from, but like diet is such an important thing to me. Like one of the things that I focus on a lot, so I figure I'd share it with you guys. I know some people will listen to it or like to hear it. People are outside my window right now staring at me with my camera. It's kind of weird, but I'm just gonna go with it. That's what I have for you. I think I hit the 10 minute mark, got the extra ad revenue. That's good, that's good stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me the arc comments below. And you know, guys, if you want, give me some comments about what your favorite diets are. Um, what kind of things could you not cut out? What do you think there's not a substitute for? There's a substitute for pop, for bread, for literally anything you can think of. There's a substitute. So you can sub it all sugar-free do it. It's super good for you. You guys can you guys can do anything. You just got to think of the person you want to be. Think about what it takes to get there and then just start doing it today. 
Guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for helping out in the channel as we're kind of in this weird transition period, which, you know, happens every now and then. I love you guys. Thanks for being awesome. Don't forget to spread the love, and I'll see you all tomorrow.